To enter a savings account into the plan, start in the dashboard at the top and go to the plus button bottom right. Here we will select savings and investments and savings. Make sure the owner of the savings account is correct and you can select another person in this window if it's jointly owned. Enter the name of the savings account and the current balance at the start of the buoyant plan. The interest rate is entered in this section here. The default value is taken from your plan settings and it's a good idea to start in the plan settings before building a case. You can change this interest rate for this individual account here as well. We're going to enter a contribution. You can enter contributions of different types, either amount, an amount increasing with inflation or a percentage of income. I'm going to enter $100 every month, change annually to monthly. You need to make sure if you're entering a contribution that there's available surplus money in the plan in order to make that saving. So in this case, I've already entered their employment income. The employment income is above the black line, so there is some surplus that we can save, and this is where we're saving it to. In timing, I'm going to see when the contribution starts and stops. In this case, I would like the contribution to start now and end at Julia's retirement. Let's now look at withdrawal limit. In here, you can change how the account is accessed in the plan. And here I'm going to show you minimum balance. If I put in $20,000 into this minimum balance, this will keep $20,000 ring fenced in the plan. So it will allow money above that to be spent if needed, but it will not allow $20,000 to be spent any time in the plan, even if there's shortfall. And essentially this is setting up an emergency fund. Okay, I'll go and click save. With the details on, we can now see that light blue, which is the savings account being used when it's needed in retirement. You can go into year view to see the details of each year in the plan. Let's click on investments to see all the savings and investments accounts and the end of year balances, contributions and withdrawals for each year. If I click on the name of the account, it shows me more information. I set up a contribution of $1,200. That, that was the $100 a month. And it planned to make that and it did actually do that. So look for what's actually being contributed. The growth rate here is the 1% that I set. There's no fees on savings account for my plan settings. So it's 1% net. And in this year, there's no withdrawals. This is the end of year balance. And if I scroll through to the retirement year, you can see the money being used in the plan. But note, if I keep going, although there's shortfall in the plan, it will not withdraw the $20,000 because it leaves that ring fenced, though it does take out the interest. Thanks for listening.